Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is my skincare conundrum series and in today's video, we are going to talk about mask nail. Since the pandemic hit 2020 and it hit us really hard, the mask culture is here to stay and is for a good reason. And we are seeing a term really popping out nowadays in the skincare industry that is mask nail. In this video, we are going to talk about mask nail, what is mask nail, how it occurs, how we can prevent it, how we can protect it, what are the forms. I will also be giving you guys my bonus tips on how I personally deal with mask nail, including a demo skincare routine for both AM and PM on the basis of which you can create your own. I'll also be telling you a couple of ingredients that you should look upon, especially if you are getting a lot of mask nail. And lastly, I will be sharing you guys with a mask nail kit that is something that I personally carry all the time with me. So stay tuned till the end to know everything that you need to know about this mask nail. And it is something that is really annoying. Hey guys, so if you are seeing this face for the very first time, hi, I'm Oitri Haldar. I do post a lot of skincare videos mixed with a couple of contents that I really like. So if you are into that genre, then do consider subscribing and hitting on that bell notification to get notified every time I am uploading any kind of videos. You can also follow me in my social media accounts, especially my Instagram, where I'm most active, where you get to be a part of what goes into my videos. And also I do a couple of live sessions to answer back to all of your skincare queries. So without any further ado, let Let's get ahead with today's skincare conundrums video that is mask nail. So coming to the first question, what is mask nail? Mask nail, as the name suggests, comes from the two terms that is mask and acne. And this is getting really common nowadays. While mask nail can happen to anyone, but it is not mandatory that it will happen to everyone. The medical term of this particular phenomena is acne mechanica. And it is basically caused by the prolonged usage of face mask. Now, this is nothing new. Doctors and professionals have always wear masks whenever they are seeing their client and have been seen in a bunch of different countries that when people get infected by a fever or any kind of flu people wear masks so that they do not infect others but this is really popular now because of the whole COVID-19 pandemic and people are wearing masks throughout the day now the main question that comes is that why it exactly happens so when we wear masks it imposes heat friction and occlusiveness along with the moist environment that is involved when we talk, breathe and of course sweat and both of them combined together creates this perfect breeding ground for the bacteria and the fungus that are naturally present in our skin to go haywire such as the fungus called malassezia which is present in our skin and it is the main culprit for producing fungal acne and also QT bacterium acne or P acne is also present in our skin so along with the heat, friction, occlusiveness, moisture and also an anaerobic environment the P acne bacteria turns our excess sebum into free fatty acids and these are the acids that are known to irritate our skin it causes redness irritation and it does triggers the melanocytes that is why some people get inflated hyperpigmentation due to wearing masks for a long time so now that we know what causes mask nail, coming to the couple of forms that mask nail can be seen it can be seen in a form of acne all the forms the pustules the papules the nodules the cyst any kind of acne also in form of tiny bumps blemishes redness, irritation, and also a little bit of flared hyperpigmentation. Mainly due to oil, dirt, and sebum production, acne, blemishes, tiny bumps, and also hyperpigmentation occurs. And because of the friction where the mask gives to your skin, redness and irritation is seen. Coming on to a couple of prevention techniques. Now for me, prevention is always better than cure. So if you don't have acne, these are the couple of steps that you can incorporate so you do not get mask acne ever. Coming to the first step, which is cleansing. Now, cleansing is the most important step of your mask and skincare routine because you need to remove all the dirt and bacteria after wearing mask. And you also need to create the perfect clean environment for your mask to go on. So cleansing is really important. Cleansing two times daily whenever you are wearing mask and after you are wearing mask. And if you are someone who sweats a lot or if you are someone who is acne prone, then I would really suggest that you wash your face every three to four hours whenever you are feeling that dirt and ickiness on your skin and 
always use a gentle cleanser for that. Proper cleansing will take care of your oil and sebum production and also will unclog your pores. Keeping your skincare really effective and simple is really important because you do not want to layer and layer your actives and your moisturizer, especially if you are going to wear a mask for eight to nine hours straight. Because what it exactly happens that whenever you are wearing a mask, you are intensifying the delivery of the actives that you are putting onto your skin. Treat it as your cracked heel remedy. Whenever you have a cracked heel, people do suggest that you put a lot of Vaseline and then you put a sock. So occlusive on occlusive creates this perfect environment for the healing to happen. So adding a lot of low pH actives and a lot of potent actives is not something that you should do on your AM skincare, but save all those to your PM skincare. So in the daytime, keep it simple, moisturize and SPF. The next most important step is to figuring out your skin type. Be mindful of what your skin type is because according to your skin type, you need to give your skin what it really needs. So if your skin is dry and dehydrated, you give it a lot of hydration through hyaluronic acid or humectants. If your skin is oily, then you control that oil production and unclog those pores by using a BHA or a salicylic acid treatment. If your skin is acne prone, then you add a lot of anti-acne treatments or antibacterial serums. And if your skin is normal, then you should keep it normal by adding a lot of skin barrier friendly ingredients. And a bonus tip will be to use an oil free or non comedogenic moisturizer regardless of any skin type that you might have because we do not need any extra comedon or oil in our skincare when we are using a mask to create that occlusiveness. Limiting your makeup underneath the mask will not only help you to unclog that pores but also help you to not break out under that mask so i would really suggest you guys to go on with a bold eye look rather than a all over foundation you can however use tinted sunscreen or tinted moisturizer for a little bit of coverage and that glow or if you are like me and does not care about makeup then do put on a moisturizer and spf that is enough lastly choosing a right type of mask now this is a really important topic because we do not think twice when we are ordering a lot of mask and people tend to go to the easy route and choose a lot of disposable masks. Now disposable masks let us leave ahead to the professional or the doctors because they cannot help it but we as a consumers or normal people should be concerned about environment. So I would encourage you guys to use a reusable mask and use a mask that has breathable fabric such as 100% cotton or silk or something that is soft and breathable because you are going to wear that mask for that 8 to 9 hours straight and by making sure that your mask is breathable and soft you are first of all making sure that you do not get that friction so that you do not get that tiny bumps or irritation and redness but also the breathability of mask will help you in your acne problems and a bonus tip would be that if your skin is really sensitive and you are sensitive to fragrances please wash your mask daily but wash it with a fragrance free detergent because this is something that will stay on your face for eight to nine hours straight that might cause irritation for some people and also if you are not finding a lot of fragrance fragrance free detergent options. I will list a couple of them in the description box or you can try some baby detergents because they are really mild and gentle and they are safe enough for the babies. So that means it will be safe enough for your skin too. Coming to the next part which is protection. Now what happens when you already are having acne and you already developed maskne? So what do you exactly do to help it to get better? Now the first and most important step is spot correcting and acne patch. Now acne patch is something that you apply on your acne, on your active acne to prevent your acne from that environmental abrasion and especially when you are wearing mask you do not want that friction to happen on your active acne. So including acne patches not only helps you with the friction but also prevents the bacteria to enter and irritate the acne. On the PM however you should use a spot corrector in forms of sulfur, benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid as a spot corrector to help the condition of the acne so it gets better and dries quickly. Also if you have a lot of acne and you have to wear mask every single day a very affordable tip about using this kind of acne strips you can buy any waterproof bandages and then you can cut it and create your own acne patch this is something that i have seen in an article i do not remember but you can perfectly do so and that will prevent that friction from the mask and it will work exactly like an acne patch the next step is same from the prevention technique you should keep your skincare really simple especially when you are having active acne because you do not want to layer a lot of products when you are having active acne because your skin is already irritated and you need to calm your skin and repair your skin barrier before getting into the trend of 
layering. So keep your AM skincare super simple. Do not wear any makeup. And on the PM, apply your spot correctors, your retinoids, and everything. The next tip is similar to the previous tip: is that keeping your PM skincare really effective. You do not need a lot of products in your PM routine, but you do need some products that will help in the acne fading journey. So double cleanse because you are going to wear SPF in the morning. Use spot correctors. Use your AHAs, BHAs, your retinoids, whatever you want. But do all. Always choose your skincare according to your skin concern and whatever your skin needs. And the last tip would be that if you are having that irritation kind of an acne that you are getting because of the friction of the mask, then you should consider changing the type of mask you are using, such as the 100% cotton one. Or what you can do is apply a little bit of Vaseline or any kind of occlusive to prevent your skin from that friction. And by the way, if you are concerned about the protection, however, what you can do if you are not satisfied with this, these come in three layers. If you still want to wear your N95 mask or N99 mask, you can do the double masking method. So apply this first, and then you can put that N95 mask, which will protect you from the virus, but also making sure that whatever mask material that is touching onto your face is 100% cotton. Now that we know a lot of prevention and protection techniques, let me give you a quick demo skincare routine, which involves both AM and PM. And this is something that you should not follow A to Z. This is a basic guideline how you can create. Your own skincare, and this is something that I personally do. So in the AM, what I will do is that I will cleanse my skin with a very gentle cleanser. I tone my skin or apply an essence, and this is a step which is optional, but this is something that I can never replace. Then I go ahead with a serum. Now you can skip this step, but I always apply a niacinamide or any kind of serum or active that is similar to my skin's pH, and you can perfectly do so. But if you are into layering, do balance out that pH because wearing a mask. intensifies the delivery of the active so using a lot of low ph actives will make it penetrate much deeper and that might irritate your skin and then i will apply an oil free moisturizer because i'm a combination skin type i do get oily around my t zone and dry around here so i do apply an oil free non comedogenic moisturizer which does make sure that i do not have any excess sebum production because skipping your moisturizer will in turn produce more oils and lastly i layer on that spf even if you are wearing mask do not ever think that you do not need a sun protection because if you think this tiny thing will protect you from the sun you are wrong and if i'm having an active acne i'll take a q tip i will just wipe that acne part a little bit and then i will put on an acne patch and if i'm facing any kind of frictional acne i will put a little bit of vaseline where this friction is occurring such as the jawline or the nose or sometimes around here Coming to the PM routine, I will first double cleanse my skin because I am wearing SPF, and you do need to double cleanse to properly remove your SPF. Then I will again apply any toner or essence that I like. You can or cannot apply toner. This is a personal preference. Then I will apply all the actives or the layering or the fancy part, and after that I will apply any kind of spot treatment to any kind of active acne that I am having. And after that I will apply a thick moisturizer, and I will lastly apply a sleeping mask. This is again an optional step. but you can or cannot apply sleeping mask but sleeping mask does gives you a lot of hydration coming on to the ingredients checklist that you should look upon on your moisturizer or your serum or any time that you are facing a lot of mask pain so stuff like ceramides peptides niacinamide hyaluronic acid are really great for your skin barrier and also for unclogging those pores salicylic acid is really great also retinoic acid benzoyl peroxide and sulfur does take care of your acne and last Lastly, skin soothers like Sika or Centella Asiatica, Arnica, Calendula, Allantoin. Collagen oils and lastly propylase are really great skin soothers. These are the ingredients that are really soothing and calming your skin. Because the last thing you want to do, especially when you have mask ne, is to irritate your skin. And these ingredients will make sure that you do not do so. As I mentioned, I will give you a sneak peek of my mask ne kit. So this is a small bag that I always carry with me whenever I'm heading out because this contains my mask ne essentials. So the first thing I have is a cleanser. Now my skin does really goes. 
well with any kind of cleanser so i take with me any kind of sample cleanser that i like this is a gel non stripping cleanser so even if i'm cleansing my skin every 3 to 4 hours it won't irritate my skin if your skin is not really great with a lot of cleansers what you can do is take a small little container and fill it with your daily gentle cleanser and you can carry it with you the next thing i carry is rose water now this is something that is really important for me because rose water has an amazing property of balancing out your ph and also it calms your skin and calms down the redness so i carry myself a small bottle of rose water this is a steam distilled rose water you can create your own or buy anything you like but rose water is really great and this is something that i always have then i carry a container which contains niacinamide serum mixed with any kind of moisturizer oil free moisturizer that i am using that particular day so every time i'm cleansing i'm making sure that i am moisturizing my face so i carry the small container and i do mix the serum and moisturizer thingy on the day i will be applying you can however leave it for 2 to 3 days but not more than that i also carry a spf lip balm because sunscreen for your lips is also really important and because my lips remain chapped throughout the year sunscreen as i've said is really important i do buy myself a lot of the small samples from requel because i can easily carry it in my purse this is my favorite sunscreen this is the requel ultra matte dry to sheer sunscreen you can however buy the la shield one because that is fragrance free but it has fragrance but this sits beautifully on my skin it's not comedogenic and it also serves as a little bit of blur primer lastly i do carry myself an extra pair of mask so if my current mask is feeling a lot of grimy and oily i can replace this with a new mask and i always carry myself a cloth bag or something kind of a bag that i need for storing my dirty mask now you can additionally carry a hand sanitizer because you need to sanitize your hands through soap or a sanitizer before touching your face i do however carry mine in my emergency kit if you are concerned what goes into my emergency kit i have made a video i will link it in the bottom box below so that was my mask make kit now if you have sticked on to this part of the video here are a couple of my personal bonus tips that help me a lot whenever i am getting a mask make because i do get a lot coming to the first tip is to let your skin breathe whenever you can so i always wash my face around that 3 to 4 hour mark or if i'm not traveling in a public transport and i'm traveling in a private car then i will take off that mask whenever i am in the car because for a fun fact corona is not present in the environment it is present in an enclosed surface where a lot of people are involved if it was present in the environment we all would have died so wear your mask whenever there is people or you are in a place where the circulation is not really great for example a ac room and take off that mask whenever there are not a lot of people around or you are in your private car keeping skin care based that is something that i will again emphasize on because in the current rage of layering a lot of active which is something that i also personally do but keeping your skin care simple especially when you have a lot of mask ne during your am period will not only help your skin to breathe but also will help you to get a lot less mask ne the next tip for me would be to carry my mask ne kit always and if you do create your one tag me in my instagram if you are a person who is similar to me and sweat a lot you need to dry off that sweat for that you can buy any kind of that 10 rupees or 15 rupees fans or you can make your own by folding a paper and drying off that sweat but i will encourage you guys to buy any kind of this portable fan this particular fan i featured in my birthday haul if you want to see i will mention it in the description box but this particular fan not only acts as your fan but also acts my power bank so it is really handy for me to carry and also because i'm a very sweaty person especially on my face this particular fan does helps me in taking care of the excess sweat and drying off that excess sweat because excess moisture can really trigger your mask ne and my last important tip is that sometimes mask can be really tight on your face so whenever you are wearing any kind of tight mask that is not something that is really good for you because it can create a little bit of friction and also degrade the breathability of your mask so what you can do is anytime you are buying a mask make sure it comes with this adjustable strip like this so you can put your mask right here then you can put it like this. and your mask will be a lot loosened or what you can do is if you are into a lot of hair styles this is something that i have seen in lab muffin beauty's channel she does this two buns then she attaches her mask to those two buns so you can try any one and that would make sure that every time you have a ill fitted mask it will take care of your concern so hey guys that was my video on mask pay let me know how you felt like this video if you like my skincare conundrum series comment down below any other queries that you might have share this video to any of your friends who want to get rid of mask ne 
and want to understand what is maskne and lastly subscribe to my channel hit on that bell notification and i'll see you tomorrow with the top 5 face wash video so bye bye and take care